Good afternoon, I'm Steve Hensley. First at four, Governor Andy Bashir and law enforcement agencies gathered in Laurel County this morning to provide an update on the search for Joseph Couch. WIT's RJ Johnson tells us what is changing. 11 days ago, police say Joseph Couch shot five people on I-75 in Laurel County, then fled into the Daniel Boone National Forest. Since then, officials have been working around the clock to capture Couch. Governor Andy Bashir says with schools back on regular schedules and the community as a whole working to get back to normalcy, law enforcement agencies are focusing on having an enhanced presence in the community. So beginning this afternoon, we'll be begin transitioning state and local law enforcement agencies from a manhunt to a larger presence in this community and the surrounding communities. And that We are reallocating resources because we believe it is necessary now to do so to provide for the best safety outcomes for our citizens. Bashir stresses that law enforcement is continuing to monitor the Daniel Boone National Forest and find couch. However, they want to ensure the safety of the people in the community. In Laurel County, RJ Johnson, WIMT Mountain News. Officials are still encouraging folks to submit any tips they have to police. Well, we finally have some much needed rain across eastern Kentucky, but it's kind of a feast or famine situation, if you will. Some places had a nice amount, some places didn't see much of anything. Here's live pinpoint Doppler radar, and we'll go ahead and pinpoint a couple locations to the south of Hazard, uh, seeing some rain across southern Perry County, across portions of uh, Letcher County, as well as portions of Knott County, seeing some rain, even uh, Leslie County, seeing a little bit of rain at this time. And then we'll go ahead and move the map up over towards Jackson, uh, seeing some rain, and then some rain over towards the Louisa area. And you can take a look here at the past several hours, uh, the track of this, how it's doing that, it, you don't see it often. It's more uh, east to west. Usually everything moves west to east. This is kind of retrograding and going west to east. Uh, so something that we'll be monitoring as we go into the next uh, several hours. And there's a look outside. You can see it's just dreary out there with temperatures right now in the 60s and 70s, well below normal for this time of year. Uh, 72 is the temperature in Middlesbrough. So the next 12 hours keeps rain chances in the forecast. We will clear out throughout the overnight hours with temperatures in the upper 60s. I'll have your first alert forecast coming up in a few minutes. Steve. Eric, thank you. Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump has given his first public comments on the apparent assassination attempt against him Sunday. As CBS's Christian Benavidez reports, serious questions remain about Trump's safety in this volatile political moment. Former President Donald Trump is now publicly recounting how his golf game Sunday turned into an apparent attempt on his life. All of a sudden we heard shots being fired in the air and I guess probably four or five. And it sounded like bullets, but what do I know about that? But Secret Service knew immediately it was yeah. bullets. Trump's golf partner, Steve Witkoff, tells CBS News he was just 10 yards away from the former president when he saw the Secret Service jump into action. They had him surrounded. He's the protectee. That's how it ought to happen. They were moving him to a uh, faster cart. Um, they were putting themselves noticeably between him and where the sniper, the assassin, had been identified as being. Monday, the acting head of the Secret Service visited the golf course and briefed Trump and the public. The subject, who did not have line of sight to the former president, fled the scene. He did not fire or get off any shots at our agent. The Secret Service says former President Trump now has the highest level of protection and has had that since July. President Biden ordered stepped-up protection of the former president following his first assassination attempt. Okay. Florida law enforcement officials released this body camera footage showing the arrest of suspect Ryan Wesley Ralph. The North Carolina man with a criminal record appeared in court Monday on two federal gun charges. Additional charges are possible. Christian Benavides, CBS News, West Palm Beach, Florida. The FBI is also now going through Rouse's social media posts and online searches and working to obtain warrants for his car, cell phone, and other devices. Meanwhile, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell spoke on the Senate floor about that assassination attempt. He says law enforcement faces 
an urgent task of completing a thorough, swift, and transparent investigation into the circumstances of Sunday's close call. The American people deserve answers. They deserve assurance that a former president who tens of millions of Americans have nominated once again will receive every appropriate measure of security. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer also spoke on the Senate floor saying the Secret Service already has all needed resources to do their job. Today is Voter Registration Day and one group launched a dance initiative aimed at getting all Americans more involved. The Purple Tour kicked off in Midtown Manhattan at 6 a.m. The morning dance party encourages participants to register to vote, participate in early voting, and show appreciation for election workers. The party spilled out into the streets of Times Square, where participants danced and cheered, welcoming Americans whatever their political preference. The American dream is one team, one dream. And so that um, the Purple Tour is, is a reminder that whether you're red or blue, Republican, Democrat, come to this party, remember that the dance floor doesn't care about where you're from or what you, what party lines you are, and just remember that we are one, yeah, one citizenship, one country. The tour has 50 events in 15 states around the country leading up to Election Day, which is now just 49 days away. Coming up on First